Hey guys, it's Rochelle, Legacy Home and Garden. Um, what follows is just a few things that um, I was trying to accomplish on a Sunday. At my house on a Sunday, we try to kind of wind down by one uh, o'clock. So we get up early and we pack a lot into our day. And then I try to have everything done by one o'clock. That's usually my goal. And then in the afternoon, I relax. I piddle in my garden, I read books, I'll take a nap. Um, I'll watch a good documentary, play cards with my husband, something like that. But I do try to pack a lot into a Sunday. So on this Sunday, I was making comfrey salve from the leaves I had already harvested from the garden. Um, and I made marigold salve. I also made two loaves of banana bread, a banana bundt cake, and a carrot cake for my grandson. So my morning was packed full. So this is just a little bit of that Sunday morning. I certainly hope that you enjoy um, me teaching you how to use, use infused oil to make your salve. Um, this particular one was comfrey that I detailed out. But what I want to tell you is that marigold or calendula or plantain or any of those that you choose to use, the recipe is basically the same. Um, the fragrance will differ depending on what you like to add into it. And this one I did put in a little rose. And the reason I do do that on a couple of my plants I harvest is because they can smell real earthy and smell kind of um, uh, woody. And not everybody likes that smell. But have a look, see what you think. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to make some comfrey salve. Um, I have the oil already, so in other words, I already grew the plant, harvested the plant, dried it out, covered it in oil, infused it for eight weeks, strained it, and I have the oil. So what I'm gonna do now is just strain it again, then I'm gonna get it on the stove with some beeswax and get that going, and so I'm just gonna put you on so you can watch. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Excuse me. Okay, that's my infused comfrey oil. It's almost three cups. I just strained it again. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pot. You're always gonna wanna have a sink of hot water Hot sudsy water going because, oh, that thing says banana bread's ready. Let me cut that timer off and check that bread real fast. Okay, got my tester here. So we're going to check this banana bread. And this one is ready. So this one will come out. It's in a Pyrex dish. Yummy. Put it over here to cool. I will now check the other one, which is in a glass dish. And sometimes that's a little bit different. I think this one could still go just a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the middle and just set my timer for about five minutes. Here we go. The uh, banana cake is completely cooled. Now I've got two loaves of banana bread here cooling, and we are going to put the carrot cake in the oven. So, okay, we're going to get the carrot cake in the oven. My grandson. And that's going to take about an hour, and it'll be good to go. Back to the salve, everybody. Now back over here to the comfrey we were working on. 
Um, I strained that and I got about three cups of oil. Sorry guys, I'm struggling this morning. Um, so I'm gonna need a fourth a cup of organic beeswax per cup. So I'm gonna get that ready to add in. So I need a fourth a cup per cup. From one, two, and then just not quite a fourth a cup because it was not quite three cups. So this will be my beeswax that I'm gonna add in here. Okay, now the other thing I use, I'll bring you along with me. The other thing I use to um, stir and everything are, here's my little shelf. I've got some of my oils infusing. This is more comfrey, comfrey, comfrey. These are marigolds. I'll probably use some of this today when we're finished to make some marigold salve. It's been ready, but I just uh, haven't used it yet. Is I like to use these little wooden, like chopsticky type of things to do my stirring or stirring, whatever you call it. So let's get this going. And I'm gonna put that on a, a low heat. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these babies in here, okay? That's my beeswax. And we're gonna let, get that melting, okay? And what I like to do is to have one of these little wooden sticks on hand for my mixing. Now, I'm using two ounce tins. I'm using these two ounce tins, okay? So we know that we've got, um, eight ounces to a cup, so there's almost three cups, so that would mean about 12 of these, okay? So I'm gonna get these laid out. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. I don't know why I'm gonna show you, it's not that difficult. I'm just gonna pick 12 of these out, get them opened up on the counter here so I can get ready to put my salve in it when it's ready. And so I'm just gonna take these and open them up. Put the lids in one place and put my tins in the other. And I like to put them in a row like this, okay? So there's, uh, there's one cup. That's enough for two cups. If I have everything prepared when I'm ready, I'm like ready. See, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, and twelve. So, always make one extra just in case I end up with more than what I anticipate because you add the wax in and everything, so the volume is a little more. Um, so, and I'm just gonna get my tins out of the way over here. And we're gonna go over here and tend to our sub, which I'm really looking forward to. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Well, I must have miscounted, guys. 13, got this. Now, you might ask me why I have them in a row like this, and it's because I'm using this handy dandy little tool right here. Okay, it's really for, um, not for like what I'm using it for, but uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay, I'm gonna check my bread. It might be ready to come out. Well, here's what can happen when you don't have your equipment the way you thought you did. I uh, commenced pouring my oil and I'm just sick. I'm just sick, I could just throw up almost. I'm so upset. Um, I lost the little bolt thing and my husband said he had fixed it <laughs> and I didn't check it. 
And here's what happens when that happens. You spill your precious, precious oil all over the place. So I am just sick. I'm really just so bummed out right now that I have at least eight ounces of oil wasted all over my countertop, my floor, everything. I could just cry. So I'm cleaning up this mess and then I'm gonna try again. Um, I'm hopeful, but my thing is not working properly and but I'm still, I'm gonna give it a try, you guys. I'm just sick. Oh! There's supposed to be a little wing nut on here that holds that down and it makes it this job so easy and obviously I didn't check it. It's my fault. And I just made a mess. But I'm going to keep trying. So I think if I hold it with my finger, yeah, I can put all my oil into here. Okay. Now I'll hold it down. Then I'll come over each cup and just kind of try to do it like that. The idea of this is so that you don't spill or waste your oil. Well, I don't know. And I had it all lined up so it'd be so easy. Um, I'll have to go back and clean all these tins off on the outside once the oil sets. if I have any that are just kind of partially I did put some rows there we go oh that was a little bit stressful for me <laughs> when that oil started running everywhere oh my goodness that was uh, a little bit stress but I got 9, 12, 14, actually. And I did lose probably three tens, probably a good six ounces. Um, so I guess it's just uh, the way things go, huh? But that's how I made um, some comfrey salve from some infused oil I already have. Now what I've got over at the stove is some marigold oil and I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Um, and I'll just show you that when it's finished. Okay guys. Hey, it's Rochelle Legacy Home and Garden. I didn't quite get everything done by 1.30 as, or one o'clock is my goal. It's 1.30, but I am done. Um, I have about 10 minutes left on that beautiful carrot cake that's in the oven, have a look. Yeah, about 10 minutes to go on that puppy. I did get all my salves done. Let me show you. Um, these here, all here, are the comfrey salve. These over here are the marigold salves. So I did get all of those done. I got two loaves of glorious, glorious banana bread. And a beautiful banana cake. This cooling rack is for the carrot cake that's going to be coming out. I did get my kitchen completely together because I am a clean-as-you-go kind of girl. So my comfrey salve here is setting up. Let me show you. Check it out. It's setting up, and when it's cool, I'll cap it and mark it. 
and the same with over there. So it's 1.30. I am going to be done for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me today to give you just a little peek of some of the things I do on my Sunday at Legacy Home and Garden. I never, ever try to go past two at the very latest. Today I set my goal for one. Didn't quite work out. 1.30 is good for me. I have everything done I need to do. I'll come back into this kitchen probably about 4.30ish, and I'm going to whip up a meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, um, some deviled eggs from our beautiful hens, and um, I don't know, I haven't decided if we're going to have some peas or maybe some corn uh, with it for our dinner tonight, but this is just kind of a typical day on a Sunday. Thanks for hanging out with me.